When logging into the Healthy Home website to do surveys, this is the web address that we're going to give you for you to use at home. And we're going to also assign you a username and a password. So every week our passwords actually change, but don't worry, we will actually give you the new password every week. So you use your login name, your username, and then you log in with the password. And you hit either press enter or press login, and this will be the home screen that you'll be introduced to. This is the phone number that you'll be calling to do the survey. And these are the four categories you could put the survey in if they don't answer and do the survey. This NI means not interested. That means the person that answered the phone said they're not inter interested Excuse me, in doing the survey. NA means they're not available. The person wasn't home or the answering machine picked up. NNS means the number is not in service or there's a language barrier. So if you can't speak the language that that person speaks and they cannot understand you to do the survey, you hit NNS. And I rate is for everyone that says they would want, they request to be taken off of the list, our calling list. So the first thing you do is you're going to look at the name. So in this case, it's Voight. And you dial the number that's listed. What we do is we let the phone ring four times in the daylight hours. That way it'll give someone time to reach the phone. This one is not in service. And you'll either get an answering machine or someone answering the phone within four rings. So make sure that since this number was not in service, you hit NNS and then you hit next. The screen will automatically load. The, the colors will change. That's how you know it's a new number too. And you just dial the new number. And once again, you'll wait for four rings in the daylight hours. I will give them plenty of time to reach the phone. That way they can answer you. Or you'll hear the voicemail pick up and then you'll hit not available. That's the third ring. And that's the fourth ring. So we're going to go ahead and hit not available because no one answered the phone for us to do that survey. And then we'll go to the next one. Can I, can I please speak to Mrs. Chenier? Hi, is this Mr. Chenier? Hi, sir. It's, my name is Natasha, and I'm calling from Healthy Home, and I'm not trying to sell you anything. I was just doing a really quick health survey over the phone, and I promise you it'll take less than a minute. Does anyone in your home have asthma, allergies, or a breathing problem? Okay, do you allow pets in your home? Okay, and do you feel that dust accumulation in your home is high, medium, or low? Great, and when you clean your home, do you use a broom or a vacuum cleaner? What type of water do you drink, Mr. Chenier? Bottled, city, or well water? And for demographic purposes only, what age bracket do you and your wife range in? Is it 20 to 39, 40 to 59, or 60 to 75? Okay, great. Do you own or rent your home? In case of an emergency, do you use your Discover, American Express, MasterCard, or Visa credit cards? Oh, okay. I just need one. Which one do you prefer, Discover or American Express? Great. And when you last purchased a vehicle, did you might did you purchase an American one or a foreign vehicle? What year is it? Is it a 2011 or did you purchase it in 2012? Okay, in 2011 you purchased a 2012. Okay, perfect. And last question, all surveys are filed by occupation, Mr. Chenier. Are you working, retired or self-employed? Awesome. And what, how long have you been with your current company? Okay, great. And what about your spouse? Oh, you're single? That's not a problem. And just to validate that I did do the survey with you, what's your favorite hobby or your favorite color? That's an interesting hobby. And your favorite color is green? 
Perfect. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to complete my survey. And for that, I'm going to enter your name into a big drawing for your choice of $200 in cash or Florida lottery tickets, plus weekly drawings, but we're only going to call you if you win, okay? Okay, great. Thank you, Mr. Chenier. And now that you hung up the phone, what you do is you make sure that all of the buttons are properly marked. That way you know for sure that you spoke to everyone and you got all the answers properly. And then at the end of it, you hit Save Survey. And then what you do is when you scroll down to the bottom, you check. And as soon as it says Qualified 1 right here, you know that your survey was validated and it's gone through properly. Good job.